uterus, you will find something that resembles a garbage bag. Let's pretend that's the amnia. So you have to clamp it and cut it just as you would in real life. Does this in any way replicate a real operation? The motions of getting the tubing out, hooking it up, running it through, getting a catheter out. Don't splash it with lots of betadine. The mannequins that we have breathe. Uh, we use confederates and microphones so they will talk to you. Uh, they have blood pressures, they have pulses. Some of the ones we use in labor and delivery actually have um, the capability to deliver a baby. I'm not going to be with my box. No, you're going to keep the box here because you're going to sleep. Because it's in the other one. Okay. 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 What we're trying to do is allow people to practice for emergencies. What we're allowing them to do is analyze their own settings. And we're trusting, and indeed this is appropriate, we, we trust that they're good people, they're smart people, they're experts. And that if we can get them into a situation like this, they will analyze it themselves. And they'll come up with some really cool stuff. Not only do you um, improve technical skills and perfect procedures, the most important is getting this team work together. Communication, uh, we call it, chore at my company, we call it choreographing the crisis. Everybody knows the dance steps, but unless you practice them, you can't just hit the floor beautifully when the music starts. I think the use of stimulation is, is essential to the people who are already practicing. I think it's essential to the new kids coming up through nursing schools and med schools. I think it's essential for our foreign nurses who are coming into this country to help with our nursing shortage and have to learn the way we do things. And I think it's essential mostly to patient safety to get standardization um, where we can have standardization on that with my knee. And then you can actually plug it into that second IV. We have a nice pulse oximeter, but go ahead and take that special probe off and see what happens. And your uterus sits in, I don't know your name, I'm sorry. Okay, that's as lively as we can make her look. Uh, you could,